China's central bank governor Zhou Xiaochuan wants more reform and competition. But at a forum in Shanghai, Zhou did not discuss more immediate policy challenges like managing the yuan exchange rate or rebalancing efforts to deleverage the economy and encourage growth. What we can expect from the governor is he stands on market opening up to promote the yuan and China's outbound investments. China's international payment system for cross-border yuan settlement will soon be based in Shanghai to boost Shanghai's importance and to better serve the Belt and Road. Zhou also said the people who are scared of foreign players in the financial sector were, quote-unquote, focused on their own interests. He said those people are not doing Chinese financial institutions any favors. The more our markets remain close to the outside, the less competition we have and the less attention is paid on increasing market standards. The financial industry should be a highly competitive sector and can benefit from a more open market. Non-Chinese firms still face restrictions on both investment and business. But what's more urgent is China's financial risks. We learned from the global financial crisis that we need to make sure financial institutions are healthy and we need to stay alert on high leverage, low capital adequacy in the market and max loan level. Analysts say the risks to China's financial sector and the broader economy have grown as debt has soared. And some market policies have been countering one another. China has been keen to turn the yuan into a global currency, but that effort has been put on hold due to a string of capital control measures to ease the yuan's depreciation pressure. Xia Cheng, CGTN.